Hello guys. Welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after giving the names. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. And please check out my second channel Anime Sum Up for amazing recaps of different anime. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Could you really? That would be great. Then, please indeed help us with it. The white-haired beauty smiled and accepted my proposal. The other two, witnessing this, also allowed me to amend their bodies for them. I readily agreed and commenced with modifications. It was a difficult task to change the exterior while preventing the skeletons from being affected. However, with my hand's precise movements and Raphael Sand's flawless calculations, re-sculpting the three demonesses' appearances was relatively straightforward. For them, once they grew accustomed to their skeletons, they would be able to control the flow of their own magicules and perfectly reproduce their self-image. I could also slip them some extra goodies. I mixed gold into the Magisteel skeletons and turned them into Aura Calcum. Since these were Diablo's close friends, I could at least do this much for them. Gold was a widely used universal metal in this world as well. Its compatibility with magicules was excellent. In addition, not only its strength, but also its overall quality was above that of Magisteel. The three ladies all praised how beautiful the skeletons looked, they were eminently well received. Thank you so much, Rimuru-sama. Seeing how happy they were, I felt decidedly satisfied as well. And so, my work here was done. Now, we just had to wait for them to wake up. Oh yeah, it's inconvenient not to name them, and just as I thought so, oi oi oi, what have you guys been up to since last time? Yahoo, Rimuru. Did Diablo bring his subordinates? Are you gonna introduce them to, A? Eh? Dino, Ramirez and Veldora demonstrated their hobby of rubbernecking and ran to us. Just as Ramirez said, Diablo has brought his subordinates. These people are all demons. That's why I was preparing the bodies back then, I explained to Dino, who was out of the loop. Actually, I've heard about all that. Then why are you so surprised if you've already heard about it? This is another miraculous sight. Diablo sure is incredible, to suddenly assemble so many demons. Ah, it was because of the large gathering. Indeed, there definitely were a lot of them. It was thanks to Veldora's remark that I realized why Dino was shocked. Had I not heard about it beforehand, I would have been even more shocked. No, that's not all. I was kind of scared as well, since the three over there seemed to have lived for a long long time. Ramirez admitted with a flabbergasted expression while Dino nodded along. Oh, they appear to be the ancient species of the ruling class. They apparently have lived over a thousand years, I added. Hey, did you make a mistake somehow? What mistake? There's no way Raphael Sand's explanation could have been mistaken. Negative. It is a misunderstanding, because there is no knowing the precise time and year of their existence, the deduction is purely speculative. The so-called lived for over a thousand years can even include those who have remained alive for over 30,000 years. I see, this was the correct definition. The one description lived for over a thousand years, included 3,000, 4,000, and even 10,000 years. Raphael didn't make a mistake, but it wasn't necessarily the correct interpretation either. Hmm. Even if you guys say so, it's inappropriate to ask a girl her age, warned Ramirez. I learned about this lesson as well. It will make you seem like a troublemaker and piss people off, Veldora boasted. In any case, how long they've lived isn't that important, it's enough to know that the powerful demons of the ruling class have become our companions. If Rimuru can accept that, I won't object. What an impressive mindset, I wouldn't be able to mimic it. Kufufufufu, as expected from Rimuru-sama, what you meant must be, it didn't matter how long they've lived, but how they've lived. A, E? While Ramirez and Veldora voiced their opinions, Diablo seemed to have given a really good summary. Feeling slightly embarrassed, I still nodded in agreement, nonetheless. Dino and the others' interruption almost made me forget about what I was going to do. I wanted to name the demons. Let's cut to the chase this time. I planned on giving them supercar names like Diablo. I wasn't trying to imply that their price tag indicated their strength, but was simply just borrowing the names of premium sports cars. From today onward, you shall be known as Testarossa, Ultima, and Carrera, I announced in a majestic tone to the three golden skeletons floating inside the growth capsules. The first female had exquisitely shining white hair and snow-like pale skin, in contrast to her porcelain skin. Her elegant eyes and soft, striking lips were a brilliant shade of crimson, that touch of red reminded me of the beautiful Ferrari Testarossa sports car. 
The violet-haired, energetic girl was the one I named Ultima. She was full of energy, a characteristic quite reminiscent of the Ultima GTR supercar. Carrera, which went without saying, referred to the famous Porsche automobile. The blonde-haired girl had a pair of coquettish eyes, just like this famous car that picks its owner. Hold on, oi! Dino alone scrambled in a panic. You can't just name these people so casually. It was too late to give advice like that now. There was no use panicking at this point. Look at Ramirez and Veldora. They weren't the slightest bit freaked out. Isn't he always like that? It's normal for Rimuru to do something like this. And so on and so forth. They quickly changed the topic thereafter. As soon as I finished speaking, the three arch demons completed their possession, flesh and blood vessels began to cover the golden skeletons, quickly shaping into the naked bodies of goddesses, soon after, magicules transformed into clothes that covered their bare skin. The growth capsules shattered, unable to contain the yuki that was surging from their bodies, that was to be expected, after all, due to my naming, they had all evolved to demon peers. They were on a completely different level than before, their overwhelming power was fearsome, coupled with a strength beyond comprehension. This can't be. Even ex-demon lord Carrion can't hold a candle to them? Hey, just how deep does this rabbit hole go? Thank goodness I'm not hostile to Rimuru, Dino moaned, though no one paid attention to him. Vesta, who arrived late, was mumbling in a corner by himself, I didn't see anything. Ah ha ha I don't know, nope, saw nothing. None of my business. Watching him mindlessly bash his head against the wall, repeating the same words, was truly saddening. But let's just pretend we didn't see that. And just like that, we called it a day. Depleting my magicule stores was never good. I gotta be more careful, to see how much more I could spare. I should take it easy and name a couple more. I suppose it was the right choice to limit the naming to three people a day. With that in mind, I began to name the demons over the course of the next few days. Moss, Veyron, Agara, Aspree, Zonda, Sian, Venom. As such, I named the strongest ones first. Testarossa's lieutenants were Moss and Sian. Ultima's lieutenants were Veyron and Zonda. Carrera's lieutenants were Agara and Aspree. The demon that piqued Diablo's interest was Venom. The three girls alone were already a huge military force in their own right. In any case, the addition of these three demon peers was just the beginning. The seven demons completed their evolution the moment they were named, they casually hopped out of their capsules. Two of them were now demon peers, the other four were still arch demons. Nonetheless, their auras felt different from before. Although I couldn't put my finger on it, it felt as if their limiters had been removed. In addition, Venom also evolved into an archdemon, greatly boosting his power. I, on the other hand, was stunned to the point that my mind blanked. To put it simply, you couldn't simply find demon peers in the wild. They were all legendary demons that reigned supreme like the demon lords, including Diablo. Our nation now had six of them. Having this many definitely detracted that legendary feeling though. What should we do with all these new additions then? I personally wanted to recruit some people who were well versed in politics and finance. Could any of them handle such a role? I had my doubts, but it couldn't hurt to ask anyway. While I was pondering this, I still had to figure out names for the other 700 demons. Since I had made a promise to Diablo, I would see it through to the end. However, I soon became aware of an unexpected miscalculation. According to Raphael San, I could just name the demons by consuming the magicules within the growth capsule. What a pleasant surprise. And so, with this motivating information in hand, it took me only two days to finish naming everyone else. The 700 strong army of demons was now kneeling before me. Most of them were originally lesser demons, but with their new bodies and names, they were able to evolve into greater demons. And just as I had suspected, regardless of where they stood on the racial hierarchy, all of them were at least rank A. We now had 700 new subordinates that surpassed rank A. While it might sound weird coming from me, this excessive addition to our military force was quite frankly ridiculous, some of them even evolved to archdemons. I might have just overdone it again. Our new military power was terrifying, in fact, the three ladies from the start, Testarossa, Ultima, and Carrera, were already insanely strong. Welp, no point thinking about it now. I'll just pretend like nothing significant happened, yep, let's go with that. This was the best way to maintain a tranquil mind. Rimuru-sama, we would like to offer our utmost thanks for bestowing upon us these beautiful names and this wonderful power. Please allow us to henceforth pledge our loyalties to you.
Testarossa vowed on behalf of everyone else present. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched the previous parts, then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates.